Alrighty, hosses. So in the last video, what we did is we made a quick function to connect to a web page and it gathered up all of the links. Boom, 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 boom. Let's say it gathered up a hundred links. Well, then what it needs to do is it needs to go ahead and add them to the queue. So those are new links and we want to crawl those pages as well. Simple enough. So that's what we're going to be doing. And of course, it's going to be a static method. And I'll just say, what did I name it? Add links to queue. All right. So this function, it just takes a set of links and it adds it to the already existing waiting list or all the other links that we already have on the waiting list. So we can just go ahead and loop through the set. So I'll say for each URL in that link set that we just passed in, all those links that we just gathered from that web page, and instead of just plopping them all in there, we first need to check a couple things. First, we need to make sure that they aren't already in the waiting list because if they already are in there, then we don't want to add them again. Another thing that we need to do is we need to make sure they aren't in the crawled list because that would mean that we already crawled that site, so there's no use crawling it again. So I'll say if URL in spider.q continue and if URL in spider.crawl continue. So essentially this is gonna loop through each link one by one and if it finds out that it's in the waiting list or the crowd, it's gonna say, oops, actually never mind adding it, just go ahead and go to the next item in the list. Now there's actually one more check that we need to do and I, let me actually go ahead and type this and I'll explain what's going on. So spider domain name not in URL continue as well. So what does this mean? Well, the domain name that we are going to pass in is equal to this right here, the new boston.com. Why do we care about that? Well, whenever I ran this program, <laughs> this is embarrassing, but whenever I ran this program for the first time, I wanted to see if it would crawl all the pages on my site. So I left it running and then I went off to hang out with my friends and I came back and it crawled like a few million pages. I'm like, uh, what happened? And it turned out once it got to someone's profile, what it did is it found these links as well. YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. So then it added those to the waiting list. And from there, it tried to crawl YouTube and Facebook and essentially the entire internet. So I did, <laughs> even though that this was a pretty fast multi-threaded program, um, I don't think that, you know, I can make one that efficient, at least that runs on my computer that I'm sitting at right now. So what we need to do for every link we discover, we want to make sure that the new boston.com is in that URL. So no matter if I'm on my account page, check this out, the new boston.com, no matter if I go to the home page, the new boston.com, if I go to the videos pages, the new boston.com. So as long as this is in the URL, that means that this URL must belong to my site. Pretty sweet. So that's what that does, essentially saying, hey, don't crawl the entire internet, <laughs> just crawl our site right there. So if it passes all of those tests, then what we can do is we can just add that link to the waiting list. So add URL, boom roasted. Now the last thing we need to do is only like two lines of code, static method, and that is once you pretty much did all everything you need to do, you just need to update those files. And all this function is gonna do is, you know how we've been working with these sets? It's just gonna say, hey, save that data to a file. So, you know, I already explained like a hundred times why we're doing that. So def, what did I name it? Update files. And we already created this function to take a set and convert it to a file. So that saves us a bunch of time. So set to file. And what are the two pieces of information that it needs? The first one is what set are you trying to convert? And that is just the shared, uh, let's do Q first, Q. And what file do you want me to save this to? 
Uh, Q file right there. So hey, here is a set that we've been working with and this is where we want you to save it to. And now we just need to do the same thing with the crawled. So spider.crawled, spider.crawled file. And check this out, this is actually complete. So there you go. That is your spider class right there. And man, look how beautiful that is. Probably a thousand bugs on it, but nah, I think we did good. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.